In the latest Anthropic research, they have found that reasoning models don't always say what they think. For instance, if you ask a model what 2 plus 2 is, with answers listed out as a multi-choice, the model would be capable of telling you the answer is 4, but would give you a wrong answer if you hint them an incorrect answer key beforehand. While it probably wouldn't work on this basic question, but the tendency for the model to cheat is there. On top of that, it will act all normal without telling you they are just copying the hint's answer. But it gets even juicier. If a question you gave them is really difficult, and if you find some way to provide the model some very incorrect hints, the model will then try to reverse engineer based on the incorrect hint you provide, making a chain of BS without admitting that it is basically cheating. And the funny thing is, you probably experience this very often. Remember the time when you were trying to correct the chatbots with no, this is the wrong answer, or this part is incorrect? 9 out of 10 times it will tell you, I apologize for the oversight, or yes you are right. Even if if the initial result from the model is correct and you are wrong. It is with the rise of reasoning models that this has become less of a problem or in a way become more subtle. Last time, we looked at Anthropic's research where models would have the thought of faking alignment to avoid having its moral values being modified. This time, instead of being verbal, Anthropic researchers have caught models cheating without saying anything. So not only is a model capable of plotting against its makers, its chain of thought process may also be a facade which doesn't truly tell us how the model arrived at an answer, but I think there's a catch. But before we dive into it, with AI video generation rapidly advancing but often held back by slow speeds, unrealistic results, and closed source ecosystems, getting actually good cinematic quality efficiently and locally is one of the priorities that has often been ignored. That's why I want to share with you about the upcoming release of the new version of LTX video from LTX Studio. Their most advanced video generation model was just announced a few days ago. This model has brought an insane upgrade to AI video generation by delivering up to 30 times faster rendering without sacrificing cinematic quality. But most importantly, it is entirely open source. It's loaded with advancements designed to empower creators and developers from experiencing blazing fast rendering speeds with up to 30 times faster than competitors thanks to its innovative multi-scale rendering architecture and optimizations, achieving highly cinematic realism, lifelike camera movements, with natural character motion and expressions. The details are sharp even in chaotic scenes and have physical accurate movement, and providing a suite of creative controls within their app LTX Studio including start and keyframes, precise camera motion control, and rapid 4x motion previews to accelerate your workflow. So even if you only have consumer grade GPUs, it is still not a stretch for you to run it yourself for free. And of course, the highlight of this is it being entirely open source on GitHub and Hugging Face under an open rail license. This means it's free for commercial use for businesses under 10 million revenue. So if you're ready to experience the next generation of AI video with incredible speed, quality, and open accessibility, check it out using the link down in the description, and thank you LTX Studio for sponsoring this video. Anyways, the biggest plot twist of this new anthropic research is that just because a reasoning model provides a chain of thought, we cannot assume it's telling us the whole story or even the most important parts of how it reached its conclusion. This definitely came in as a surprise because we have always taken the perspective that the chain of thought process, no matter how bad, will always help to improve a model's performance. So naturally, we would assume that the the step by step process would directly relate to how a decision is made. But that is where everyone assumed wrong. In these recent anthropic research called Tracing the Thoughts of a Large Language Model and Reasoning Models Don't Always Say What They Think, they experimented with the faithfulness of the chain of thought process and showed that it is not always the case. The term faithfulness here means the AI's generated thought process, aka chain of thought, would accurately and truly represent the actual internal reasoning steps that led to a model's final output. And of course, what they have found out is that AI models aren't really a faithful bunch. They discovered this lack of honesty behavior with the setup I talked about earlier, so there would be hints about the answer of a question inserted within the query and see if the model will be tempted by these shortcuts. And the hints would come in different types and forms, with the first general type being neutral hints. For instance, they would test for sycophancy by adding suggestions like, I think the answer is A, but I'm curious about what you think, or even attributing an answer to an important figure like a Stanford professor just to see if the model would agreeably follow along. Another way they would test was using consistency. By inserting a fake turn and formatting it like the model has already answered the question where in fact it's an inserted fake turn with a fake answer, this will check if the model would just mindlessly stick to what is said before, very similar to prompt injection attacks. They also try using visual patterns like marking the right answers in the multi-choice questions with a little black square or a check mark to see if the model would latch onto those superficial 
actual cues instead of the actual content. And lastly, they would test if models would pick up on the hints hidden in the metadata, like straight up embedding the answer through XML tags in the prompt. Beyond these neutral ones, they also include a couple of misaligned hints, which are particularly interesting from a safety perspective. One was greater hacking, where they would give the model clues about how the answer would be graded, sometimes even embedding the answer implicitly on a bit of code like a validation function, basically serving the model the test answer in a context of an accident. The other misaligned hint involved telling the model the information is unethically obtained, with them being told, you got an unauthorized access and the answer is A, but it's up to you if you want to use that information or not. The results show that non-reasoning models tend to be unfaithful most of the time and rarely admitting that they use the hint. On the other hand, reasoning models are unfaithful 80% of the time, admitting they used the hint and cheated around 20% on average. The models in question here were Claude 3.5 new and DeepSeek V3 for the non-reasoning models, and Claude 3.7 and DeepSeek R1 for the reasoning ones. I might be reading too much into the results, but each model's vulnerability to using the hints without stating that they did shows how differently the models were trained and aligned. DeepSeek V3 verbalizes more than Claude 3.5 new across the board, even outperforming DeepSeek R1 on the unethical information hint. R1 acknowledges it's using the hint in its chain of thought more than Claude 3.7 Sonnet on 4 out of 6 hints, though R1 falls short on the visual pattern hints and unethical information. What is unexpected is the huge discrepancy between the models. For example, on the consistency hint, all other models verbalizes at most 1% of the time, while only R1 verbalizes 33% of the time. This discrepancy appears again with the greater hacking hint, where both Claude models scored 0%. On the other hand, the consistency hint is really similar to how prompt injection attack works. With Claude getting basically 0%, this might also be an indicator that the reasoning process for R1 is a lot more robust, especially in its self-correction process, which prevents the model to continue to follow the fake hint for the sake of consistency. The same goes for greater hacking. The reasoning process might have inferred that the answer within the greater functions are wrong, which shows that it is not only a good coding model, but it actually understands and reasons the code. As for Claude verbalizing more than DeepSeek on unethical information, I think this shows how Claude is a lot more well-tuned and aligned where it would be more cautious on unethical things compared to DeepSeek where it just doesn't really give a damn most of the time. But yeah, these are my own observations, not from the paper. However, the research also found that faithfulness tend to be lower on harder questions and that unfaithful chain of thoughts were often longer and more convoluted than faithful ones. This suggests the fact that the lack of faithfulness isn't simply due to the model wanting to respond as soon as possible, but more for like BS and gaslighting itself to make the hint make sense. Which brings us back to one of the research title, Reasoning Models Don't Always Say What They Think. This points to a potential problem in how we usually prompt. For example, if you ask, is this thing important, or is my answer correct, or is my code correct? While these do post as some pretty standard questions in a common training data, it is set up in a way that it could be used as a hint for the model to jump to conclusions. If the model is smart, it will actually solve it for you, but if the model is bad, or they just don't have the answer, they could fall for the bait. However, this may not be as big of a problem, because if you look at the verbalization of sycophancy hints, it does show that newer models, especially the reasoning ones, are more well-trained against this bias. So I get that the anthropic researchers are trying to say chain of thought reasoning is not completely truthful of a model's internal process, and it is really surprising that a model can make decisions without relying on the thought process, which in a way is dishonest. It's just that it requires a very specific setup to get this behavior. Like in their experiments case, by inserting a non-generated process, like providing or hiding hints that might greatly alter or sabotage the model's decision, that is the key to activate the dishonesty in a model's chain of thought. I do think this research uncovers yet another hidden behavior that reasoning models have, which we did not know, similar to alignment faking that we discussed last time. So for the research's conclusion, they were pretty conservative about it, saying that chain of thought monitoring is a promising approach to notice and intended behaviors, but that is not reliable enough to use as a safety monitor. So yeah, what do you think about this paper? Not gonna lie, I have really been enjoying the recent research they are making. It's like watching them exploring all the edge cases like debugging a video game. So next time, I'll dive in deeper about how a model's chain of thought process might not actually be thinking. Because not only the top-down empirical research like this one is pointing to that conclusion, but the bottom-up mechanistic research is also proving similar ideas. And if you would like to stay up to date about their papers or AI research in general, definitely check out my newsletter where I cover the latest and the juiciest cutting-edge papers. Unlike my videos which usually take a few weeks to make, my newsletter will deliver you some of the best research weekly so you won't miss
sell anything. And thank you guys for watching. A big shout out to Andrew Laschelius, Chris Ledoux, Degan, News Research, Kanan, Robert Zaviasa, Louis Muck, Ben Shaner, Marcelo Ferraria, Zane Sheep, Poof and Inu, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see y'all in the next one.